Hi guys, welcome to our Zen Den. My name is Valerie. I'm in a different space. I just don't have like a permanent um, place to film in my house. So that's why I'm always like jumping around <laughs> from place to place. Um, anyways, today we're gonna be talking about the brand new like comeback shades from the previous KOL polish. And I know you guys are so excited for this because so many of you have been requesting this. So they heard you guys and two of their most popular shades came back. The first one that came back is Porter, which it used to be called Porter Miami and I'm kind of upset she changed the name because I thought it was so cute being from Miami like the Port of Miami is super popular let me know why she changed it because I honestly have no idea and then the second one that came back is called St. Clair so I'm gonna show you guys the swatches the comparison so if you're into it let's just start the video if you guys didn't know I have an affiliate code and an affiliate link with Light Slacker so if you guys would please use my code or link I would really really appreciate it the first one that I have here is called Porter Okay, so Porter is described as a soft cobalt blue. So it's kind of funny because when I saw Porter, I immediately thought about woman and I was so convinced that it was gonna be very similar to woman. But when you guys see the comparisons, you will notice how much it looks similar to Berry, which I don't know why I just completely forgot about comparing it to Berry. But as soon as I took out all my polishes, I'm like, okay, I have to try Berry because as soon as I took out all my polishes, I'm like, okay, let me see all the mid-tone kind of blues. And I was blown away how similar it was to Berry. Berry, obviously you can see the difference. Berry is a lot darker and I think it's a little bit more jelly-ish if you want it to be and Porter is just like a true creme. I think I'm gonna start putting more than one hand comparison because there are so many polishes that I feel like you guys might want me to compare it to. So the next one that I compared it to is I'll Be Home and at the beginning I'm like they're pretty different so why am I comparing them but there's just something about it that reminded me of I'll Be Home. I think when it like shifts to the glitter it's like a similar mid-tone blue like that one so that is why I compared it and then of course I already talked about woman I was shocked of how different it was woman is so much darker and then at the very end I compared it to Aquarius which obviously it's a lot darker but I felt like it was kind of in that family of like mid-tone blues so the reason why I said that I kind of want to do more than one hand comparison is because I feel like so many of you want me to do other polishes that I didn't get to put on my hands so I am gonna show you guys a couple of comparisons from the bottle itself so this one is Porter and let me just show you the first one which is Baloo Baloo, first of all, it is like the thinnest polish we have. Even when you start applying this polish, it's not gonna look super dark like that. It is more of like, I think the description was like a Caribbean blue water, so it is very more green toned than Porter, so they're super, super different. Okay, and this one is Forget Me Nots. It is also super different, so obviously if I don't put a polish in the comparison, it's because they are so different that it's not even worth it and you have nothing to worry about. But yeah, this is Forget Me Nots. And then just for the fun of it, I'm gonna do Alexandrite, which is like a blurple kind of polish. But it does have like a mid-tone blue shift, which could, I guess, be a little similar. But I feel like these two together would look so cool. Or like Alexandrite on top of Porter, that would be very pretty. Okay, let's move on to the next polish, which is called St. Clair. Okay, so St. Clair is described as a light cornflower blue. I did not know what that meant, but I love that description. It's so cute. I love St. Clair. It is such a beautiful like periwinkle-ish light blue. I love that they're just cremes, so they're pretty easy to apply. With two coats, you should be fine. Okay, so out of the two, this one was the one that gave me the most problems because I feel like there was more similarities from other polishes than Porter. So the first one that I compared it to that I was so shocked to see that Chill Pill was like one of the most similar to it. That's why I put it right next to it. It. they just look so beautiful together but hopefully you guys can see how much more purple chill pill is and it is a tad bit darker so they're definitely not identical another one that i thought about was the next one that i compared it to which is easy as pie but i realized how much lighter and this one is like a true blue light polish so they are super different in case you guys had any worries the next one that i compared it to is blue moon which in my head i'm like they don't really look similar but i knew you guys would want me to do it so that's why i put it there blue moon is just way more like blue toned and St. Clair is lighter and it has a little bit more of like a purplish I guess look. And the last one that I was really surprised also because I don't know about you guys but to me Cancer is like a gray color so I do have it like in my gray categories in my nail polish storage so I was really surprised to see that it is so similar to St. Clair. Now that I look at the comparisons I should have put it a little bit closer like I should have switched it up 
from blue moon to cancer but obviously cancer has like a pearly glittery kind of finish to it so they're different and cancer is more like lighter and less blue toned than saint Clair. all right so just like porter i wanted to do a comparisons with bottles from other polishes that i didn't get to do on my comparisons and the first one that i kind of beat myself up about that i didn't put it in the comparison is actually grumpy bear from the care bear collection but you can obviously tell how much lavendery purple grumpy bear is so i just figured that there would be other polishes that would be more helpful for you guys but this is what it looks against grumpy bear another one that i thought about putting it in the comparisons but i didn't end up doing is moon river and i just didn't think it would be a good comparison just because moon river is so much more gray toned and they just look so different so obviously that's why i didn't put it and then this one kind of caught me off guard because I initially had it like on my little stack of polishes that could be like potential comparisons. And this one is actually Jukebox Baby. I just saw the pastel lightness of it and I'm like maybe it could, you know, be a good option to put in the comparison. But it just, I feel like it looks way too purple, lavendery, so it just didn't make any sense. You can obviously tell how much more blue toned St. Clair actually is. Okay, and last one, I promise, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm gonna compare it to Bedtime Bear, and they're just such different blues, so you guys have nothing to worry about. All right, so I debated if I should do a ranking uh, from these since there's only two of them, but I do have a favorite one from both, but I think my favorite one is gonna have to go to Porter. I just love me a mid-tone blue like this, and I just see myself wearing this one more than St. Clair, even though they are both so beautiful. I just think Porter is definitely my favorite favorite out of the two but St. Clair is gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed the comparisons. Hopefully they were helpful to you guys. Let me know if you guys want me to do any other types of video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a like and please don't forget to use my code at checkout. It would be so so helpful for my channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you on the next one.